joined by Dom Hunt, congratulations, and the new Central Area welterweight champion. Couldn't quite force the double purse stoppage on the line from Eddie tonight, but you are victorious. We saw what it meant to you in the ring. Just tell us how you're feeling right now. Oh, I'm top of the world. All I've ever had through when I started boxing is people saying I'll never do anything. Well, I've shown a lot of them I'm real deal. I can box. You know, I'm nowhere near perfect yet. I'm learning all the time. I'm learning on the job. But I can fight. I can dig down. I can bite down. I can do it. And I've proven tonight, you know, I'm no mug. With that offer that was on the table from Eddie, as tempting as it was, was the message very much from Junior in the team to remain focused on the game plan and not even have that in your mind? Yeah, of course, because at the end of the day, I knew Jimmy is a really good fighter. I know he brings it, he comes forward, he dips and he throws shots over the top really well. We knew that if I tried to fight his fight, you know, there's no guarantees. He makes a 50-50, I knew. If I stuck to my game, I can do it comfortably on the back foot. I can box and move and I did what I had to do. You know. did, you, did you feel yourself getting to Jimmy in there tonight? He was looking to hold centre ring, but your work didn't allow you to do so. A lot of success with that left hand. Did you feel comfortable and well ahead when the final bell rang? Yeah, I knew I was winning the fight. It was just uh, that last round. I knew we were going to come out and we were going to throw bombs. And, and he did. He, he dug in because his eye were closed and he had it tough. He was breathing heavy. And he, and he dug deep. He could have easily quit in there because I was hitting him hard. And he kept going. You know, he didn't, you know he's, he's, got a lot of, he's got a lot of guts as Jimmy. He's going to come again. Um, and he'll do really well but tonight with my night you know within obviously boxing's about levels but at my level tonight no one was stopping me tonight I were on it tonight you say this was your night how determined were you Dom to make the most of the opportunity here this evening oh, absolutely because look when I'm just a fat lad from work here you know what I mean like <laughs> I'm just I'm just a nobody from work here you know and like to come here and box on a show you guys have been amazing looking after me all week it's been the best week of my life like just being around these superstars and world level fighters and to be part of an event like this is just a dream come true and I can't like I can't thank you guys enough for giving me this opportunity I you know thank you so much brilliant that's great to hear and James Flint this fight with James was a real 50-50 on paper yeah, wasn't yeah. it and you both deserve a lot of respect for taking this fight he can rebuild from this can't he oh Jimmy's you know what he's got a fantastic team he's a great fighter and, and I'll say it again he's got a serious chin because a couple of times I really planted him in there and, and he took him like a champ and maybe if he drops down to super lightweight I don't know I felt a bit too physically strong tonight so I don't know if he's a He's, if he could drop down a weight and but he's anyway he's a fantastic fighter and he takes two to tango doesn't it I you know he's, he's a great man and as well and I've got so much respect for his team and everyone in their team they're fantastic you know and all the way through to Steph who's you know been a massive part of making this happen so yeah massive respect to all of them we talked about how it might feel to have your first professional title on your shoulder standing here tonight now with that belt on your shoulder how just how just how good does it feel though do you know what? I don't think it's going to sink in until I'm sat at home on the sofa with my dominoes tomorrow. <laughs> like, I, I don't, I'm not going to sleep tonight, so that's, that's that. Um, but yeah, and can I just say as well, a massive thank you to all my sponsors because through lockdown, I never knew if I were going to box again because all these small old fighters, we never got a chance. And, you know, thanks to Junior, Pete, you know, Liam, all, all working hard all the way through lockdown and it's got to this my sponsors and my family and everyone coming down from wakefield as well thank you so much what a city thank you and with this win you can start to take things that bit more seriously now winner stays on is the old saying yeah. what what do you have in your mind for what's next on the thing is i i've got to be realistic you know there's some absolute killers in the welterweight division um and i'm i'm not ready for the big dogs yet I, i'm very realistic i want to keep learning i'll be back in the gym i'll keep improving and I'll get my chance eventually again, and I'll do. I'll take my chance when I'm ready. But at this stage, it's all boxing's about levels, and I need to keep proving that I'm worthy of each level as we go along. I can't rush. I know I'm 30, but I've got no miles on the clock. I'm still a young 30, and just I just need to get back in the gym and keep learning because I've got so much to improve on, and there's so much more to come. So it's a long process, isn't it? Do you want to give a special thanks to your coach, Junior Witter, as well? Let's bring Junior in. Apparently, this guy used to box a bit, but I've never heard of him. <laughs> I've so. heard he wasn't bad, you know. Uh, Any moment. <laughs> Junior, a word on Dom's performance tonight. Um, for me, it was brilliant. I mean, to see where he came from. I remember when Dom first came into the English gym, we were training down there, and it was like, you know what, to give him time it in. I worked with him. A couple of others worked with him as well. And then when I left, set me on gym, he came with me, and he worked like nobody. If everybody worked like him, I'd have every gym would be champions all over because his work rate, his work ethic, 
is second to none. He turns up, he drives down, he comes in, he does his toll, goes on, comes back, puts the effort in. He puts serious effort in all the way through lockdown when nothing were happening. He was still here through training. He's come back, he's had two fights since that. So this is the perfect end of the year for him. He's talked about being a lot of, there being a lot of killers at 147 pounds, but do you think he's impressed Eddie tonight, Junior, and he can push on from here? Um, he definitely can push on from here. Yeah, I mean, there's, there's, there's opportunities that, will, that have got to arise from that. You know what I mean? It was a good performance. Yeah, they've still got stuff to work on. There's always going to be things to, to niggle on, and he, he's got better. So we're looking at say, Commonwealth title, Irish title, British title, English title. So we're looking at that sort of title next. Move on, but this next 12 months, he's, gonna, he's got to go for another title. Well, Junior, as coach, congratulations, Dom Hunt and the new. Massive respect to Th both Thank you. you so much for you guys for being fantastic this week. Thank you. Brilliant, Dom. Enjoy tonight. Cheers, Thank you, guys. Thank you.